Hi everyone, my name is Ann Fangfish. I'm going to be your regional account manager for a point of lease and insurance portal tracking training for Sunrise Management. We're going to cover a couple of items here, the insurance tracking and POL insurance policies. First, let's cover the insurance tracking. What we're going to do is we're going to monitor all policies and track compliance for the entire lease term of your residence so your leasing professionals do not have to. Also with POL, this is going to give your residents an option to pay for their insurance for $14.50 with their rent or upload their third-party declaration page. Once they pick these options, we will in turn track their compliance for the entire lease term and your leasing team will have more time attracting new residents while we handle the requirements and compliance after a move in. Now we're gonna teach you how to log in to your leasing portal. You're gonna to go to the Sunrise intranet and click renter's insurance. If you're prompted for credentials after clicking, enter your Sunrise login. Once you're entered into your leasing dashboard, you'll need to make sure that all leases will go into the system. This is all move-ins and all renewals. We're gonna cover a couple things to be cognizant of and to remember. First and foremost, we wanna make sure that residents cannot move in without insurance. Please do not hand over keys on move-in day without verifying that your resident has either picked POL or uploaded their third-party declaration page. Also, please do not enter residents in the dashboard more than one time. If you enter them in twice, there may be an opportunity for extra charges that they do not need to pay. The residents will upload their declaration pages into the portal. If they do need help, we will review how to help them so they can have updated insurance in the portal. We also want to enter in residence information in our portal at time of application approval. We want to give your residents more than enough time to look through the POL policies and coverage, as well as possibly uploading a third-party declaration page. All leases will go into the system. Please make sure that you are placing all move-ins and all renewals. Now the leasing agent experience. We're going to go in about how to place in a new move-in or a renewal going forward. So entering in a new lease, you're going to enter in a new application as well as a new renewal exactly the same way. <clears throat> if you have real page, please pick their lease ID. If you have app folio, pick their tenant ID. Then you'll log into your dashboard. What you'll want to go to is the green button that says enter a lease. This will be available on all three dashboards, your opening dashboard, pending insurance requirements, and completed ins insurance requirements. So let's go over the dashboard for a moment. As you see that there's gonna be two types of actions and notifications. For the status update notification, you can check the status of a resident as well as with pending actions, you can place your POL charge. It's very important to make sure that their lease effective date has not passed and this action has been taken care of upon move-in. You're going to be doing this for all move-ins and all renewals. When you do click your green button, you will enter in your new lease. Like I said previously, this will happen for all of your applications as well as your new renewals coming in. You can pick their street address by a drop down as well as their unit address. You will also place in their effective lease date or move in date and then their lease end date. Please make sure that these dates match with the lease that they have signed. Next, we want to enter, enter in their name and contact information, as well as the resident ID that you pulled from your management software. When you're done with this, you can place another resident in if you do have multiple people that have signed the lease. You also want to pick a way of communicating with them via email or text message. I'm a firm believer of sending them both an email and text message. Once this is done, 
please click the green button that says Submit Info. Once that has done, you're going to receive an email. The resident will receive the email from do not reply .pol at assurant.com or a text message. They will use these links to either pick pay with rent, which is your POL policy, or upload proof of an outside insurance. We need to make sure that their interested party is corrected as well, because we will be using that as for tracking. Once this happens, they will hang out in the pending insurance requirement tabs. And there's a couple of different actions that you can use in this. So for instance, if a person has decided to change an apartment number, you will click edit or delete lease. You can go in here to change apartment numbers as well as lease effective dates. Or you can delete the lease if needed if a person has decided to not move into your community. You also have the option of resending the resident opt-in link if they feel that they have not received the corrected email. Another item that you have is show resident portal. You can use this option if a person does not have a cell phone number or if they're not technically savvy. So if they're not too familiar with how to upload a third party declaration page or if they don't feel comfortable using the computer system, you can help them through this. Next, we're gonna go over to the completed insurance requirement tab. This is where every resident should hang out by the time that you either hand over keys or renew their lease. There are a couple action items that you can use for this drop down. You can cancel their pay with rent if they decided they no longer want to pay the insurance with their rent and want to use a third party declaration page. You can also delete a resident from here or you can renew a resident from here if they are already in the system. If a person has outside insurance, this is where you can pull the information and view their declaration page. It's very important to not let any resident move in who has not completed their insurance requirement and who is not located in the completed insurance requirement tab. Now that your resident or new move-in has decided to pick POL, we're gonna teach you how to charge up this charge so it is paid with their rent. What you'll want to do is go to your dashboard under pending action and click place POL charge. Then you will go into their ledger and do the same. You will add the charge code for point of lease as POL. Once you have verified that this has been placed on their ledger, you can go back to your dashboard and confirm that this has been taken care of by clicking yes. Now we're gonna go through when a lease has ended, when a lease has been moved out of the system. So if a resident has come to your office and has placed in a notice to vacate, what you're going to do is find them underneath completed insurance requirement and click action. Once you do this, you can click move out and place in their move out date. Please make sure to click the box beside the name of the resident that is moving out and then click confirm. You will see that there will be pending move out as their lease status until the day after the move out has passed. There are times where residents will be non-compliant. This will happen if a person has a third party declaration page that they have stopped paying on or who have canceled. In turn, if they have stopped paying for their coverage, it is required that they update this information or we will place a policy on their behalf. This is called a post verification insurance policy. This will only cover liability and will not cover their belongings. With POL, they will have their liability coverage as well as $10,000 of personal property coverage. What will happen is you will need to go in and place a charge code of PVI on their ledger until they have updated their required coverage and updated their insurance policy. As you can see, it's very similar to POL, so please make sure you are clicking on the correct charge code when you're adding this to their ledger. 
we're going to do a quick recap of your point of lease. This is going to be your resident experience that they have. This is a very nice flyer to hand them over so they know what to expect. Please encourage all of your residents to complete the insurance requirement on their own. Please do not take third-party declaration pages at your office and explain to the resident that this is important that they take this action through the email or text message that you have sent them. If for a certain reason they're not able to do so, you can use that handy action button by show resident portal and you can help them complete the resident, the, the, complete the option, but please make sure that the resident is in the office with you. If you have any further questions, you may contact me at area code 561-254-8121 or email me at ann.fengfish at assurant.com.